Advertising is the future of television because advertising works. And it's a lesson the BBC needs to learn pretty quickly, isn't it? Hi, it's me again, and I stumbled across a story here about the future of advertising and things like that, and it led me down a bit of a path of wanting a rant about, about the BBC. And I've also got some figures from a BBC competitor who is commercial, so we can compare earnings and things like that and see if the BBC could, could survive. Let's say this story is about sort of the future of, of television advertising, because when you're streaming everything, when it's not coming down to broadcast, like when you put an advert on the telly, you don't know how many people have watched it, whether it suits that person or whatnot, you know, the demographics and everything. You just don't know. You're just peeing in the wind with your money. And it's an old-fashioned way of advertising. But advertisers love streaming services because streaming services know a lot about you. They know your age, your location, your gender. They know what you like to watch. They know what your interests are. They know all this stuff about you. And they can show personalized ads. Look at YouTube, for instance. When you're watching here on YouTube, when you see the ads, they're pretty well personalized to you if you're using your main Google account to watch YouTube, aren't they? It's very different if you use a separate account or an incog browser or something with a VPN. You get completely different ads. And that's the way. More targeted ads means more money for advertisers. And it works. It works. Have a look at this. In a report published in December last year, Deloitte Global predicted that addressable TV advertising which allows different ads to be shown to different households watching the same program, would generate about 7.5 billion US dollars globally in 2022. It's here now. It's here now. That way of operating is here now. You know, and there's, I don't know if anyone in the UK is doing it. I've got um, Discovery Plus. I don't know if they're doing that sort of thing. I don't know if ITV are doing that sort of thing with their ad breaks when you stream with them. But they should be. They should be. They should be trying to find out as much about you as possible so they can target ads because they can charge more. Targeted ads, when you're actually showing your ad to the exact person that wants that product, you can charge more for that ad. And it says here, look, although a big figure and certainly a massive increase from previous years, Deloitte Global warned that it is still a small part of the global 153 billion US dollars TV ad market forecast for 2022. So the BBC get 3.2 billion quid a year from TV license fees. They do make a fair chunk of money from their commercial entities. BBC Studios is a commercial entity. It doesn't just sell shows to the BBC that you pay the license fee to and receives TV license fee funds in return. It sells them all around the world and to streaming services and stuff. They also have BBC Distribution. They have BBC Productions. There's several different companies. They even have UK TV, which is Dave and Gold and all that. And they show ads all the time on there, and they make money. So they're not shy of being a commercial entity. They make a lot of money privately already. But it's 153 billion a year USD TV ad market. And the BBC need to get a foothold in this, a proper strong one, before it's too late. Because you can say be a subscription service all you want, but the subscription services now are going to start showing ads. Discovery Plus shows Ads. I think you pay $3.99 a month for the basic one that gets you into Discovery Plus, but no sport, which I don't want anyway. But you get ads. You get ads in the shows. Not a lot of ads, but you do get ads in the shows. Netflix is going to start showing ads. They're going to start offering a more budget package, and it's going to have ads in it. This is coming. This is coming. Streaming services aren't just going to be exclusively you pay your money, watch your stuff ad-free. There's going to be ads in them to help supplement the money and the BBC need to jump on this immediately and they've got iPlayer that all they need to do is when people sign up for iPlayer ask them a few more questions and they can start showing really heavily targeted ads and advertisers would love to be on the BBC because for some reason the BBC has got a really trusted reputation around the world isn't it imagine the advertisers would be queuing up to get targeted ads on the BBC they could make money on it they could survive from it they just could I mean, they get 3.2 billion quid a year from the license fees now. They've got to make some cuts. They've got to trim the fat. They've got to bring that number that they need down. Because they've still got a deficit of, what, 258 million a year deficit in the 3.2. God knows. But it's one of them things, isn't it? Like, you hear your local council start doing a lot of roadworks just before, you know, their budget changes over for the financial year, in it? If they didn't have a black hole of finances, they'd have no justification 
for having such a high amount of money required. If they could come in under the 3.2 billion quid a year, their budget would be cut, wouldn't it? So they're never going to come in under. Why would you? Why would you? Well, let's have a look at ITV, look. So it's ITV's numbers for 2021. And external revenue was 3.4 billion and a total advertising revenue of 1.9 billion. That ain't far off BBC numbers, right? That's not far off BBC numbers. And ITV is not quite as big as the BBC and they're still making that kind of money. There's no excuse at this point for the BBC to say they couldn't survive being commercial. There's no excuse for it. Yeah, it says here, ITV is now the largest ad-funded premium streaming service in Europe. We have over 3.6 million global subscriptions, up over 38% since 2020. BritBox continues to grow well with 733,000 subscriptions. BritBox International is now in four countries and delivering strong growth. ITV Hub Plus has around half a million subscribers, so ITV Hub Plus is the one you pay for to cut out the ads. Half a million subscribers just on that. You wouldn't think half a million people would want to pay ITV just to get the ads off, would you? So ITV are absolutely smashing it, and they are proving that you can survive with advertising. And the BBC need to jump on this. Jump on the advertising bandwagon immediately. Get all the infrastructure in place. Start building relationships with ad agencies and large private companies to develop a way to give targeted ads through your streaming service, BBC. Get on this first. Be the pioneer of it, and you will make more than your 3.2 billion quid a year. As long as you continue to make good TV shows. Anyway, if you keep making dross, no one's going to want to advertise with you. Oh yeah, but if you're charging advertisers, like if you've got advertisers on there and you're charging them to show ads, you're incentivized to make better programs anyway. Because the better the programs you make, the better the advertisers you can get, and the more advertising revenue you can make. The more viewers, more money. It's easy, isn't it? Everybody wins from advertising, apart from us who have to sit through some ads. Such is life, isn't it? Really. But advertising breeds competition, which breeds a better product for you and I to enjoy. And you wouldn't have to pay the license fee. So what do you think about this then? If you want to read either the ITV Results Centre thing or this thing about advertising, which is quite interesting, I'll put the links below in the description text. You can go and have a look yourself. So do that. Let me know what you think about it in the comments while you're down there as well. Let me know what you think the future of the BBC is, if you think it is commercial. I think it is. I think it is. I've said it loads of times, I believe. The future for the BBC is commercial, or maybe a mix of commercial and subscription. But let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because if you do that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon. Bye-bye. Ta-da.